This video is going to be about the Hardy-Weinberg principle. The two equations that are underlined are the two equations that you need to know, and that bit in the middle explains how you get from one to the other, but you don't need to know that. The Hardy-Weinberg principle is used to calculate the allele frequency in populations. It only works for dominant and recessive alleles and can't be used for codominant alleles. It also can't be used if the genotype effect, oh, sorry, phenotype affects survival and breeding. Some of the assumptions made when using the Hardy-Weinberg principle is that it's a large population, mating is random, there's no selective advantage for having, di having the different phenotypes, there are no mutations, no migrations and no genetic drifts. Now P is equal to the frequency of the dominant allele, so I'm just going to use A, and Q is the frequency of the recessive allele, lowercase a. B squared is equal to the frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype, so P squared can be equal to A, A. 2PQ is equal to the heterozygous dominant genotype, so that would be equal to A, A, or A, A. And Q squared is equal to the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. So Q squared is going to be equal to A, A. And so both P squared and 2PQ will both have the dominant phenotype and Q squared will have the recessive phenotype. An example I'm going to use for the Hardy-Weinberg principle is that if a population of 5,000 birds and 1,800 have the recessive phenotype, so out of 5,000 birds, 1,800 have the recessive phenotype, so I'm going to use two little a's. And because you can't work with numbers, you have to work with decimal points. Here's 1,800 divided by 5,000 is equal to 0.36. And the question could be calculate the frequency of the dominant allele and 0.36 is equal to Q squared because it's the recessive phenotype. So 0.6 is equal to Q. If you square root 0.36 you get 0.6. And P plus Q equals 1. So you get P is equal to 0.4, and that's your answer, 0.4, is the, that's the frequency of the dominant allele. And the next part of the question could be calculate the percentage of the heterozygotes. So to do that, out of the equation, that's the part of it which is with heterozygotes, so 2PQ. So you do 2 times 0.6 times 0.4 and that is equal to 0.42. So 42% of the population are heterozygotes. And for example the next part of the question could be calculate the percentage of the dominant homozygotes. So that's the people with P squared, that part of the will have, um, as you say, is have homozygous dom dominant genotype. So P squared, because P is equal to 0.4, is equal to 0.4 squared, and P is equal to 0.16. So 16% of the population. are homozygous dominant. I'm going to do another example and it says that 51% of the population have at least one recessive allele. So 51% have either, uh, let's choose a random letter, D, D or D, D alleles. 
and the question could tell you to work out the predicted frequency of the population with homozygous recessive alleles. So 1 minus 0 0.51, because you can't work in percentages, you always have to work in decimals, so divide that by 100, gives you 0 0.49. And this is the percentage of the population that show that have the alleles D, D, which is also equal to P squared. So 0 0.49 is equal to P squared. So 0 0.7 is equal to P. And then you can use the formula P plus Q equals 1. So Q equals 1 minus 0.7. So Q is equal to 0.3. Now you have these two numbers of P and Q, the allele frequencies. You, work, you can work out anything to do with the formula P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. So to work out the predicted frequency of the population with homozygous recessive alleles, that is, it's people that have Q squared that have both recessive alleles, so Q squared is equal to 0.3 squared, so Q is equal to 0.9, 0, 9, sorry. So 9% of the population have the alleles D, D. And the next part of the question could be, for example, work out the population that show the dominant phenotype. So that would be that part. Now you could do two things here. If you're confident with your maths, you could just do 1 minus 0.09, which will give you 0.81. Or if, for example, you didn't have the first part of the question, you just had the second part to, to work out the population that shows the dominant phenotype, you would have P squared plus 2PQ. And because you know these values, the frequency of the alleles, you can just substitute them in and have 0 0.7 squared plus 2 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7, which will give you... 0.49 plus 0.42 should equal 0 0.81. So 81% of the population have the alleles A, oh sorry, D, D, or D, D, and show the dominant phenotype. 